Hello there, fellow humans, and welcome to this video. And there is a new tank in the game, and obviously, as always, of course it is in crates. Like, the Kanonen Yakpanzer is now here. Tra drop chance is 5%, so it's one of the better crates. However, it's only 5%. And you have the charms again, but you need to buy 25 crates to get it guaranteed, which is 115 euro. Is the Kanonen Yakpanzer worth 115 euro? Is it? Well, before we answer that question, let's say it together three times, okay? You ready? Don't buy crates. Don't buy crates. Don't buy crates. You heard it here, okay? Don't buy them. Do not buy these crates. If you think of this video as in any kind a motivation for you to buy them, you're wrong. This is the opposite. Don't buy the crates. Ever. Okay? This tank isn't even worth it in the crates. Now, right now there is not even an article yet because you can see that Wargaming cares more about the money than the actual game. But that doesn't matter because we're gonna go over to Blitzstars and then we're gonna check out how the Canonian Panzer really works. Here we are in Blitzstars and we can see the Canonian Panzer 105. Here, this is the sort of unofficial statistics. I don't know if they've been buffed before the release, but I doubt it. So, what do we have here? We have a 105mm gun with 350 alpha damage, obviously. It has 2700 dpm, which is abysmal compared to the Actier. As you can see, it has a bit more pen, it has the most pen out of all these tier 8 tank destroyers right here, so that's a pretty cool plus side. It also has 300 on the heat, which is very good, so the pen is, is a very, very good thing here. Then, the aim time and the weapon handling is excellent, as you can see, 1.4 seconds aim time, which is even better than the Scorpion G's, but then again, uh, it doesn't really matter that much, it has 8 degrees of gun depression. Which is great, but it is a paper tank. It is an absolute paper tank. It also has amazing mobility. As you can see, it's more of a light tank than a tank destroyer. As you can see right here, done. I mean, it doesn't have any armor whatsoever. Everyone's going to penetrate you. It's like an E25, but the E25 actually has good DPM, while this one doesn't. Even the Scorpion has better DPM. It also has better alpha damage, so I would say that the Scorpion G is just a better vehicle, and you get it, get it without crates. You don't have to spend 115 euros to get the Scorpion G. So yeah, as you can see, uh, 550 for two crates, and you need 25 to get the tank with the charms. So that's, on average, 115 euros for the tank. It ain't worth it, that, is it? So... Here are the Canoniac Panzer 105 containers, and Wargaming didn't even bother giving them a texture. Wonderful. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, Canoniac Panzer 105 may... Yeah, that's, that's not, that's not going to happen. That is not going to happen. You have the charms, so yeah, let, let's open 23 more. Not. At least it has some gold in it, so you're not throwing away completely. If you get 2,000 gold for 550, it's, eh, it could be better. But... That is pretty much breaking even right there, if you look at this bundle. So, eh, eh you know, it's not as horrible as other crates, but they're still horrible, because they're crates. So yeah, what do we get? And it's not the Canoniac Panzer, obviously, it is 750 gold, that's not bad. It's still throwing away, though, because I could have gotten more. Uh, then they got to X3 and crew boosters, eh, nothing special there. Nothing interesting. And nothing. 500 gold. And some crew credit boosters. Those are great. For me, at least. Not for you. So, yeah. You don't get this thing. You, d you don't. You need 25 charms to get this tank. And the chance of getting it without the charms is very low. So, brace yourself to spend upwards of 100 euros on a piece of shit. Pretty much. Don't so just don't don't get it. Don't don't throw out your money on. And if you do get it, if you are one of the lucky ones, don't brag about it in the comments because that's exactly what makes wargaming more money. That's exactly how they motivate people to buy more crates. 
If you get it, keep it to yourself. Just do instead, instead of wasting all your money on stupid crates and not getting the tank, you should get yourself a Scorpion G, or alternatively also the uh, Yak Tiger 88, because the Yak Tiger 88 is also pretty much the best tank you can get if you're interested in farming credits in burning games because of the insane DPM that it has. But what makes this tank uh, amazing, even more amazing than the Kno and Yak Panzer, is it has a turret, it has more DPM, and it has more alpha damage, which means that you have to peak less, you have more angles to peak, and you're also more mobile in general, obviously. Because the thing is with the Kanoniak Panzer, why would you ever get the Kanoniak Panzer when the WZ 120 um, is basically the same but with more alpha damage and more armor? There is no point in getting the Kanoniak Panzer whatsoever unless you're a collector that is willing to throw away all their money to get a eh, not so good to rate premium tank destroyer because there are certainly better options and I would never ever recommend the Canon Yak Panzer to anyone because especially with a Scorpion G like this you can play it like this as you can see I'm on the front line right now in a paper tank destroyer because I have the mobility I have the capability in this vehicle to play it aggressively I don't have that in the Canon Yak Panzer the only thing I can do in that thing is camp in the back and that is not very good now is it Especially when you don't have the alpha damage to uh, just fight everyone else. Sure, you have more alpha damage than the mediums, but every T-34, every heavy pretty much is going to completely destroy you. Because they have 400 and you have 350. In a Scorpion G, you're better. And then, the other problem is, obviously, the Act Tigre has the same DPM as the Canon. But, it has like 30% more DPM. It doesn't have the mobility, yes, that's true, but it is just way, way more flexible at how to do damage, because you just you have an insane amount of DPM, and you have also some kind of armor, you know. The Canoni Yak Panzer is no E25. It is nowhere near as good as an E25, simply because it's a tier higher, and it doesn't have the same insane damage potential that the 25 has, and it doesn't have the flexibility that the Scorpion has, and it doesn't have the raw damaging potential that the Act Tiger has. So, you know, what, what do you do? This was some random game that I just played in a Scorpion. I played it like a light tank, it worked out, I did get shot by the T-49, but I did 2.5k damage, easy game. That doesn't happen to the Kanonen. It just doesn't happen. Don't get the Kanonen. Don't buy crates. That's the one thing you should learn from this video. Thank you very much for watching. See ya.